we're gonna see how to remove and clean it. We're gonna check some live data and I'm gonna show you the voltage values you're gonna read from the connector when the ignition is on. We've got here with blue the mass airflow sensor value and with orange we've got the engine RPM and you can see how the blue line is basically following more or less the engine RPM. Now let's check another screenshot. We've got here a similar situation. This is the moment when the car is just idling. So this screenshot was taken when the car was driving on a road and you can see how the airflow rate is actually going together with the load value. It does not follow the engine speed. Alright, so the mass airflow sensor is located here, easy to get access to the connector. I'm gonna have the negative side of the voltmeter connected to the ground here. Let's unplug the sensor. We've got three wires. Let's see the first wire. We've got 0.06 volts. That's like nothing basically. Let's see this second wire, 0.03. And let's see the last one. We've got 12 volts here. Now I'm gonna remove the sensor. You just need a T15. You've got two screws around here. The sensor is out. I'm gonna reconnect it here. Now this one had nothing before. And now again it has nothing. Nothing. And this one has 12 volts. So let's see. I've got the needle connectors out. Let's turn these to resistance. Okay, so the pins in there are numbered. I'm gonna start with pin number one. So between one and two we've got 17.8 thousand ohms. Between one and three. Let's increase the range. Between 1 and 3, nothing. 1 and 4, nothing. Between 2 and 3, nothing. 2 and 4, nothing. 4 and 3, it's a huge resistance between 3 and 4. A resistance that I cannot pick with even with this voltmeter. Now if you want to clean it, you gotta use something specific for the mass airflow sensor. Do not use something else. And just spray it on there. Now it's also time to inspect this rubber gasket. It needs to seal because that will make the fuel trim go positive. So let's let it dry for a while. Now, if let's say the fuel trims are positive while the engine is running, one reason for that can be a dirty mass airflow sensor because what happens is that the sensor will detect less air than it should because the hot film inside the sensor will be covered in oil or debris. Therefore, the current which is keeping the hot wire on a constant temperature is not gonna decrease because the air will pass it by and it will not take that temperature away since the hot film is covered in debris. So those debris will act basically like an insulation on the hot film. Now let's install the sensor back. And one more thing to mention, a plus five or a minus 5% in the fuel trim is not gonna trigger the check engine light. So yes guys, that was pretty much it about the mass airflow sensor on this car. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next video.